The next type of stamping we'll do are decal stamps. As usual, we'll create a folder, name it decals, add our fill, drag it in, and this is going to be our yellow decal set, so I'll just name it as such, and pick a yellow color. For these decals, I want them to have a more reflective material than the surrounding surface, so we'll lower the roughness value to give it a nice shine. Of course, we'll just add our black mask. So, nothing new here, just go to your shelf, pick out some alphas, and start stamping away. Decals are a great way to push the eye around a model, so you also want to consider composition and flow when placing these. I'll go back and forth between symmetry for text that lies within the middle. Here I'll stamp a little bit more than I need to. I'll unload the alpha by clicking on the X and change my value to black to scrub out the area that I don't want. Now I want my other decal layers to have the same settings. Instead of creating a new fill layer, I'll just hit Control D on the existing one. This will copy the fill layer and the mask that we just painted onto a new layer. We'll name it black. Let's go and choose a lower value for this. And we'll notice all the decals that we just painted earlier turn black. That's because we were stomping the information underneath since we duplicated the same mask. Now, if you want to view what you painted in the mask, much like Photoshop, you can alt click into it to view it. We want to get rid of this information, so we'll just right click and clear it out. So again, nothing fancy here. Just grab an alpha and do some decorations. I want to make a final decal layer, which will be white. You'll start noticing that we're just doing the same process over and over. I'll grab a substance low and stamp it right over here. As with the other videos, I'll export and check it out in Eevee. Now you don't have to always export after each step. This is just something that I personally like to do, just so I don't lose sight of the end result. It's easy to get knee deep into stamping details so I'll always add something and then reevaluate in my target renderer and camera. In this case, it's going to be Eevee and a static shot. So we're almost finished up here with the medium read details. The next thing to do is to add some lights.